The Tuskegee Airmen Aviation Program began March 22, 1941. 75 years later, 10 of the original airmen gathered in Montgomery, Alabama to celebrate the influence their accomplishments made for today's Air Force. See fewer and fewer of us as time goes on. So it helps you to treasure the moment in terms of realizing how important it is because you may not see them again. And the memory will last and hopefully inspire youngsters to try to emulate what we did. It's so interesting to see that these people, what they have done for our Air Force and for our military, and it's just such an honor. The Chief of Staff of the United States Air Force, General Mark Welsh, also became an honorary Tuskegee Airman in order to help preserve their legacy. His induction as an honorary member is just going to be our thank you more than anything of the fact of, of the support that he's provided the organization and the overall legacy itself. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you General Mark Welch III, the most recent member of Tuskegee Airmen Incorporated. I will never fully understand the price of admission that the original Tuskegee Airmen paid so many years ago. It's not possible for someone who wasn't there to understand it. But I promise that I will wear your colors as proudly as anyone ever has. And I will never, never forget that there is greatness in the heart of every airman. You taught us that. Reporting from Maxwell Air Force Base, Alabama, I'm Airman Zoe Russell.